All right, hi class. This is my first video that I'm gonna record. Right now it's, it's July 20th. So I'm trying to prepare for the 2021 school year um, and I wanna be ready to teach you guys. And so this is gonna be a first of many videos that I'm gonna provide for you to help better understand some environmental concepts. Um, in unit one, we're gonna be learning about um, ecosystems um, and specifically the one I want to focus on today is a type of aquatic ecosystem called a creek. I'm sure many of you have been to a creek before but maybe you've never learned about the complexity of a creek and so that's what we're going to do today. So here I'm actually at Baldwin Creek. Baldwin Creek is uh, in Berea and it actually is a tributary of the Rocky River and um, so this creek actually um, is all the way down in North Royalton and then makes its way through Middleburg Heights and then goes kind of like along Fowles Road, if you guys know where that is, um, kind of like where Lake Isaac is, um, and then continues to head um, north and to the Rocky River, okay? So here we have a creek, this is Baldwin Creek again, and what I want to make note of, and you'll know this in, because of the what I've provided on the word wall document, um, is the area adjacent to the creek. Um, adjacent meaning next to. And so that means um, that this whole area over here that where my finger's pointing to along this side of the creek, that's called a riparian zone. Um, a riparian zone is an area of land where it meets water. So you can see all along here where the riparian zone is. A healthy riparian zone is one that is heavily vegetated. I'm sure you've learned before that um, trees have roots and roots hold soil. And so the more vegetation you have, the more plants you have, that means the more roots holding soil, which then reduces erosion, which is like wonderful because um, we want to try to keep soil on land. That's where it's supposed to be. Um, tidbit, fun fact, the number one pollutant in waterways is actually sediment, which is soil. Um, and so it's not like toxic chemicals and oil and gas, things like that. It's actually sediment. That's the number one pollutant, okay? So again, new word, riparian zone. Riparian zone is where land meets water. And here, this creek actually has different parts to it, right? You can see that there's an area here that breaks at the surface. That's called a riffle zone. So that's a new word, riffle, R-I-F-F-L-E. And a riffle zone is basically where um, the rocks are exposed, the water runs over it, and it causes breaks in the surface of the water. And actually, what that does is it adds oxygen to the water. Um, upstream from this and upstream meaning against the current if we were to walk up the creek you would find a run and a run is basically gliding water that's kind of on a straightaway okay so you see that um, another thing that you might find and I don't see it here is a pool and a pool is that part of the creek that is deeper water it usually is undercutting the banks like near the riparian zone uh, so it creates this deeper water so what you have then is like water that's kind of like chilling and gliding and then you've got riffle and then you have areas of the creek that are deeper so think about that and think about the habitat diversity that provides you've got shallow water with lots of dissolved oxygen or oxygen like I said was breaking at the surface you've got kind of like a glide here of water kind of on a straightaway after a riffle and then in some cases you'll have pools and I'll show you a pool eventually but that's just deeper water so that attracts different species okay so there's some animals and plants that like deeper water there's some animals and plants that like gliding water and there's some that love riffles if I were to have one I would probably pick the riffle um, the riffle zone has lots of dissolved oxygen in it, and that's 
definitely a factor that is very important for anything that needs oxygen in the water, okay? Um, another word wall word for us today would be lodic. So there's the terms lentic and lodic. Creeks and rivers and streams are moving bodies of water, right? So that is what we call lodic. Lodic means flowing, okay? The other term, lentic, is standing water. So that's something like a pond or even co lake, okay? And um, that means that the water is kind of just sitting there. Uh, it doesn't mean that it sits still, right? It just means that it's kind of standing water and it creates kind of like a stratification of of temperatures, right? So warmer water would be up top, cooler water on the bottom. Um, and so that creates different conditions. And so you're gonna most likely get different kinds of plant and animal life there. Okay, um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, some other fun fact tidbits. Um, all of this rock here that you see is actually sandstone. Um, and you can see on this rock here, you can actually see old shoreline um, where this was at the bottom maybe of um, the ancient ocean. And so then um, it um, underwent pressure uh, and this type of sandstone, obviously all sandstone is actually a type of sedimentary rock. We'll learn all about geology and um, so sedimentary rock does not experience heat um, and melting or anything like that, but it does experience and is formed by um, deposition and pressure, lots of pressure. Uh, and it just builds up over time and forms into this rock. Uh, some really cool things are all over in these rocks too. Um, because Berea, and there's even parts of Middleburg Heights and Brook Park where there were quarries. And so those quarries were mined for sandstone. Sandstone was a, um, a huge part of the colonization of this area um, by the Europeans. And so uh, they used it for sharpening um, knives and things like that and equipment. And so there are different pieces of rock. I saw one, oh, here's one um, that helped to make grindstone. I don't know if you guys can see the lines on that, but that definitely is like a piece from um, the remnants of, not a limestone. Did I say limestone? I meant grindstone, okay? They called them grindstones because they would grind the metal with the stone and that would sharpen it. And so this actually is just like a piece from um, a cut out grindstone from it. And uh, I thought I saw another one. Here's another one right here too, you can see. Okay, so I think that's it. So the word wall words, riparian zone, uh, riffle zone, um, glide, pool. We also have lodic and lentic.